Bienvenido al canal de León Picarón Deja tu like, tu comentario y también tu suscripción Sígueme en mis redes sociales, links en la descripción Y activa la caca campanita en un simple botón Y ahora prepárate porque empieza la función Quédate a ver el vídeo si te ha gustado esta canción And hello people, today I'm bringing you a video. Oh my goodness, a really cool, really awesome, and really epic video. First of all, you know what to do, right? Yep. Everybody grab your cell phone and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the little bell right now. Friends, you need to do it with your lips. Yes, with your lips. Uh, subscribe. Bell activated. So now that you've subscribed, activated the bell, liked, and all that stuff, comment whatever you like about the Sonic 2 movie, the videos you want us to make, the theories you have, because it's time to start theorizing, and what else you'd like to see on the fantastic, wonderful, incredible, almighty, unparalleled, marvelous channel of... With nothing more to say and nothing more to add, I'm activating the Instagram card. So come on, everyone, follow me right now, Leon Picaron, link in the description, so you don't miss anything about Mundo Leon, Leon Adventure, Sonic 2, the things we do with Paramount, or absolutely anything. So follow me, damn it. Why don't we jump straight into analyzing the dark secret of Sonic.exe in the Sonic 2 movie, and try to find some hidden and terrifying references. Okay, friends, so I've compiled a series of images, photos, I think the best references, and screenshots from the new Sonic 2 trailer, and this way we can analyze them together and see where we might find Sonic.exe. I've mainly looked at the moments you mentioned in the comments beneath our previous video on the possibility of Sonic.exe appearing, and we're going to try to find out whether he appears in the movie, because there is a frame, a screenshot. That suggests it is very, very, very possible. Before we start, I want to ask you to leave your theories in the comments section so that I can make the next video about theories. We'll start releasing a theories video every Thursday, as we always did, until the movie is released. What do you think? Sound good? And I promise you that this time, if Paramount invites me, I'll tell you, no, not really. I'll probably see Shadow in the post credit scene two months before, but I won't be able to tell you, and I'll have to theorize about whether he appears or not. So here we go. All right, friends. In this first screen grab, we can see Sonic standing in the moonlight. Sure, the frame could be longer, couldn't it? We could see him move about more. Many of you have mentioned this image as a possibility. Some of you have said it's a reference to Batman, which it could very well be. Others have said it's a reference to Sonic the Werehog, which is another real possibility. Others have tried to look for Sonic.exe, but I think those of us who wanted to see Sonic.exe here have been a bit clouded by how badly we wanted to see him. And since it's night with a full moon, we thought he might show up. But I honestly don't see any clues, I just see Sonic beneath the moon, standing on a weird, slightly old-looking building. I don't see anything. Unfortunately, I don't see anything, so... We are going to completely discard this image as a potential scene where Sonic.exe might appear and we'll move on to the next one, which is this one. In this one, many of you told me to look everywhere. And I mean, I've looked in the background, also through the doors, down the corridors a little, I don't know. And analyzing everything we have, which is this image, there's sadly nothing to go on. Lots of you were saying, here Leon, look here, look here, but honestly, having analyzed it and having watched the trailer a couple of times, well, I watch it 17 times a day, I'm not going to lie, you can't see anything. Over here, I don't see or detect absolutely anything, neither at the top or at the bottom. And as you can see, if we go a little further to the right, there's not a lot to go on. I don't think we're missing anything here. So let's bring it back to its real original size, where we can see Sonic up here goofing around. However, as far as I can see, there's nothing at the top of the stairs either. Okay, there's nothing on the stairs either. As you can see, there's nothing on the stairs, so... Forget about it, there's no trace of Sonic.exe here either, so let's move on to the next frame. One of the craziest frames of the trailer, in fact, which is this one. What do you think, guys? This one wasn't spoken about much in the comments, but it particularly caught my attention because, well, it's a tornado, probably created by Eggman, by Robotnik, with the Emerald power. We don't know if it's a Master Emerald or not, because it's too big to be a normal Emerald, but too small to be a Master Emerald, so we're just not sure. Paramount will reveal it when they want to, or we'll see what Eggman says in the movie. They probably don't even know what a Master Emerald is. They'll know that it's an Emerald and that's it, but, well, let's analyze the image a little. Because over here, I'd be most interested in seeing the buildings from above. It doesn't look like there's a lot to go on. The people down below, obviously not. The cars neither, the buildings up the top. This is Green Hills, obviously, where Tom lives and Maddie lives. Uh, although I don't know if they ended up moving to San Francisco to become cops or anything. I don't remember very well. And in the tornado, some comments said that there was a face, I mean this here on the right. Someone said that they could make out a face. And yes, it's true that it was. I mean, obviously it's not clearly a face, but anyway. You can kind of make out the eyes, the mouth, the nose, you can sort of make out a face. I don't think it's a face, or anything like Sandman from Spider-Man, or anything like that. But anyway, 
This scene is really, really cool. I don't think there's any chance of Sonic Dawn's actually showing up here, to be honest. So let's leave it behind and take a look at the frame from the movie that has sparked the most controversy, which is... This frame of Tom and Sonic fishing. This frame, at first glance, seems normal. It seems, well, I think we're all well aware that Sonic.xa is not canon, and it's impossible to include him in the movie. But this frame could give anyone food for thought. Because Tom's talking to Sonic by the trailer on their fishing trip, like, yeah, Sonic, you have to find your parents, you have to blah 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 blah, all that stuff, and... And my friends, I was blown away. We see, in a forest, and a forest would be the perfect place for Sonic XE to show up, a blue smear. And there's a little bit of red underneath, it's just, well... Well, let's be totally honest with ourselves. I don't think Paramount are going to include Sonic.exe. But as you know, they did include Sunic. Sunic didn't appear, but there was a reference to Sunic in the first movie. So why not dream? Why not let ourselves dream a little bit about Sonic.exe getting a cameo? It's a total madness. Just look at the blue smear. I know what I think, but I don't know about you. But I know what I think. I think it looks like... Sonic. Sonic. No, no, no. I don't think it's Sonic.exe, but you can't be sure. You can't be sure because it looks to be exactly the same size as Sonic.exe would be in the forest. It's a blue smear. With a little bit of red at the bottom, which would be his boots, and it's just like... Deep down we know it's not possible, but this really makes you doubt. It gives you that little glimmer of hope. It's like the Spider-Verse. You don't know what'll happen, but there's hope. And now we'll see. No spoilers, eh? Don't spoil the Spider-Man movie, or I'll get mad. I'm gonna watch it when it comes out, and I won't spoil anything, so... You've been warned. If not, Sonic.exe will come for you, eh? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I'm absolutely freaked out. It's really, really cool. And I think that if Sonic X appeared here, we would all poop our pants. We would celebrate like there was no tomorrow, even more than we would for the Spider-Verse. It'd be great. Let's now jump from this directly to the next screen grab where Sonic.exe could possibly appear. I chose to highlight this one because it didn't seem to get a lot of attention in the comments section. But I was really struck by the blue flashes of the camera. I don't know if it has something to do with the color conjunction of the green of Eggman's emerald. I don't know if it's got anything to do with that, but... There are blue sparkles in this super sacred temple where the emerald is kept, and we know that Sonic.exe would be really interested in the emerald. I doubt it. I doubt it, okay? I I'm just theorizing, going crazy over here. I'm the typical guy who might put my glasses on, take a pen and start writing on the wall like... Oh, Sonic.exe appears 2 minutes and 48 seconds into the trailer because a blue shadow appeared on my audiovisual contact lens, and this made me think that he might also appear in the movie. So, judge it for yourself. I don't think it's anything significant, but this blue reflection caught my eye. It's probably something that could be easily explained by an imaging and photography expert, but... I'm just saying, that's all. And last but not least, we have this image right here. An image which I have studied in great detail. I haven't found any blue smears or signs of Sonic.dex. Let's forget about Sonic XE, even though he's the main topic of the video. And let's focus on the wonders that we are going to see in the cinema. Are you really telling me that in the cinema we are going to see this? I don't know if this is Angel Island, or indeed any island, because as you know, the Sonic Cinematic Universe is not 100% faithful to the games. Obviously, they make all the references they can, but it's not 100% faithful. Besides, there are many games in which many things happen, and I'm not sure they'd even know where to start, so... Maybe it's their own spin on Angel Island. I don't know if it's similar to any other Sonic Island or scenery. There aren't any that come to mind right now. But it looks incredible, and look at how vast it is by comparing it to Tiny Little Sonic. Just look at how small Sonic is. Look at how tiny Sonic is here. Look at this total madness that we have right here. And this is absolutely huge. But look at the flash. If it were a little bit bigger than this, there might be a Master Emerald there. But since it's just a flash, it's probably nothing of significance. So folks, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below about any theories you might have about Sonic 2 the movie, and if you noticed anything in the trailer that you think could possibly be related to Sonic.exe. For me, the most significant frame from the trailer is the one of Tommy and Sonic fishing. It's mad to think that Sonic X might be, I mean, it's fascinating, because uh, Sonic X, whenever you see him, appears somewhere in the background, right? Kind of scary, yet in the distance, and you don't see him much. And that's exactly what's happening here, so... Honestly, I'm a little obsessed with that screenshot. I look at it 24 hours, no, not quite that much to be honest, but... I can't get it out of my head. What do you guys think? Stick your thoughts in the comments section. On that note, it's time to wrap things up.
Start theorizing because we'll start releasing the theories video soon. Remember, every Thursday, as we did before, we will theorize to death. So goodbye to all of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the little bell so that you don't miss out on anything on Sonic, Mundo Leon, Huggy Wuggy, or anything else. And I'll see you next time with more. Good mass.